Welcome back to the Tech Couch, and today we're going to be showing you the basics of the iPad. So in this first part, we're going to show you the iOS iPad UI and how to use this thing basically at the most basic level. Then we're going to look at um, the apps, which is basically how you do most things on this. They're all done through apps talk about what that means, and then we'll talk about some built-in functions, and those are the things that the iPad does in addition to apps, like for example, Siri, which isn't an app, but it can use apps and it is uh, otherwise control the iPad and your iPhone. So before diving in, I just basically described the iPad as a giant touch screen where you can touch anything on the screen and use a whole bunch of gestures to control the device and the apps you're using. I'd just like to add that while we're going to gloss over lots of different things here in demoing this for you, we're going to go into everything in further detail later, so check out the full course on our website if you'd like to get all that. So let's start off by taking a look at the hardware again. So now we see that there are these speakers, you'll hear sound coming out of them soon. There's a power button, so that turns it off, unlocks it, and if you've got the face close by or you have your password, you can open it that way. The main way we unlock our iPad is using Face ID. We show that in our setup video, so you can check that out. There's this little magnet here that holds the pencil on and charges the pencil as well. So that's great. You can see the pencil charging when it comes on there. There are volume buttons, so volume down, volume up, nice tactile buttons. And there's a charging port on the bottom for the USB-C Apple charger, which we've got here. And then there's the pencil, which has its own whole set of features. We won't be talking about that right now, but we'll do more videos on that. There are a bunch of cameras and sensors in here. That's for um, detecting the face and um, for your front time face, FaceTime camera. We'll take a look at that. And a set of cameras and other sensors on the back here. There's a flash, um, two cameras, and there's a smart connector down there, and I'm not really sure what devices it could be used for, but for example, like a keyboard, it kind of connects there with a high um, throughput and also magnetic. So that is the hardware of the iPad. You need to know how those things work. The other big piece of hardware is this big, beautiful touch screen. Let's um, turn that up to full brightness so we get the full experience here. And this thing is, is bright. It looks great, and it's a touch screen. And Apple famously um, introduced the what they called multi-touch, which means fast and precise multi-finger control interface. Now, one of the key gestures, this home, there's no home button, there used to be a home button. The new iPhones don't have that, the new iPads don't have that. It's a swipe from the bottom to get back to the home screen. Oh, and by the way, here is the home screen, which is a gallery of apps. I can click on any of them and jump right in. So we're talking about pinches, uh, four fingers, five fingers, um, pulling things, slicing things. You touch an app to open it, swipe up to close it, but you can also hold on these apps to get some more options. So let's see what we had there. So we had, you know, you can edit the home screen, share this app, delete this app. It's offering me to jump right into specific um, parts of the app. So each, each app's kind of got its own set of smart features. There is swiping from the bottom to get to the app switcher. There is swiping from the top for your notification center. Oh, they're swiping to the side from the lock screen. That's for the camera. So here we got a camera in here. There's, again, there's tapping. So, you know, tapping switches. Which camera are you looking at? You tap to take a picture. Swipe back to the home screen. Um, there's a swipe down from this corner for a control panel. You could you could tap any of these to do different things. Um, here's the lights, some, some of my lights. So there's a light off, there's a light on. Um, mirroring, volume, all sorts of things. And it's, it's all this tap and touch and swipe, and it's really great. And it's very intuitive. Um, if you have any questions about that, please ask. But the main, the main interface really is this touch of the touch screen with the different gestures. So another thing about this screen is that, uh, and for navigation, is that the screen is is touch sensitive 
for wake up. So that is kind of how you wake the screen up. In terms of unlocking the device, find the face ID is pretty reliable, even in the dark. So there it just, it did it. And then you can just um, unlock, no problem. Another really key feature is you will kind of hold from anywhere and pull down. So that gets you the general search. This is probably the fastest way to find things on the iPad. Like, you know, if you're looking for a specific app or a functionality or a setting, um, you do that. And then um, one, of the other, one of the other key features here is holding this power button. So Siri came in the bottom corner there and you can ask Siri things. What's the weather? It's currently snowing and minus one degree. So you can also hold things down. That's where you get more settings and you can drag around the apps to move them around. Well, here's widgets on the side. So I guess, let's see, we can add more widgets. And this is just a whole other level of um, interactivity where you could have, you know, a map widget in there or a battery widget. So you could see battery for various devices. Here's a news widget. So they've got some headlines. And if you type, uh, you know, you touch on one of them, it takes you right to the news app. Here's the stocks app. So we touch one of them, it takes you to the stocks app. You can look at it in um, landscape or portrait mode. And um, it's got these cameras and lots of sensors. And let's test out the speaker and see how that sounds. Um, hey Siri, listen to the Circle of Life. Circle of Life by Carmen Twilly and Nebo am now playing. You can't hear it there perfectly because, I mean, I'm recording through an iPhone, but it sounded good. It sounded good. Apparently, you can get some good um, effects there because of the four speakers. So that was a quick, all over the place overview, trying to just show you what this user interface looks like to give you a sense of it so that now we can dive in, talk about the specifics of how you're going to use apps, built-in functions, and more advanced features. All this is outlined in our full course, which is on our website and on our YouTube playlist of Learn the iPad, so check it out. We'll post links in the description below. Let us know if you have any questions. We'd be really happy to help you out. You can put those in the comments or at our website, and hope this is useful for you, and tech it easy.